exposed, Rosie O'Donnell tried to bribe two Congress members. The passage of the GOP tax plan didn't bring out the best in Rosie O'Donnell. First, she decided to bribe two members of Congress on Twitter in what was literally a felony. Then, she managed to make things worse by sexually harassing a top conservative pundit. Before we begin, let us warn you, this being Rosie O'Donnell, it's going to be a pretty vulgar ride. I know that's a given when Rosie's involved, just warning you. Viewer discretion is advised, not safe for work, etc. The whole thing began when Rosie decided she had the perfect way to defeat the Republican tax plan, bribing two rhinos. Senators Collins and Flake, of Maine and Arizona respectively, are generally known as the two most liberal members of the Republican caucus. And, according to Rosie, they're probably the most susceptible to bribery so that they would not kill Americans for the sewer rich. No s. But wait, she wasn't done, she was also willing to use moral blackmail upon Senator Collins. Unfortunately, there was a little problem with her strategy, namely, it's prima facie illegal under 18 U.S. Code Section 201, which deals with the bribery of public officials and witnesses. The section states that anybody who directly or indirectly, corruptly gives, offers or promises anything of value to any public official or person who has been selected to be a public official, or offers or promises any public official or any person who has been selected to be a public official to give anything of value to any other person or entity, with intent, to influence any official act is guilty of a felony. That's when the irrepressible Ben Shapiro got himself involved in Rosie's Twitter felony spree. She responded to Shapiro with a puerile demand for oral sex. We're not publishing it, you can see it here, but suffice it to say that since she's anatomically a woman, it was a demand that made no sense. And who got the best of this exchange? Take one guess. Dot and people say they should take the president's Twitter account away. Compared to Rosie's social media presence, Trump's Twitter sounds like it was written by Epictetus. And at least it's, intentionally, funny. As for the attempted bribery, why Rosie thought this was a good idea is anyone's guess. My assumption is that she would hide behind the JK. Defense if anyone actually questions this, which is unlikely, given how unimportant she is at this point. However, make no mistake. She managed to commit a felony on her Twitter account and then got owned by Ben Shapiro. Oh, and the tax bill still passed. Sorry, kid. It was all for naught. Maybe you should start tweeting to see if a top attorney will represent you with the money you were going to use to bribe Collins and Flake, and Flake, 